Alright, next part of our assembly, we're going to build an assembly drawing of our caster. So, we're going to start with the information we have. We're going to start with a base plate. Now, I'm going to, instead of placing something from the content center, I'm just going to place an object I've drawn. In this case, I'm going to find the plate, which is our first piece, and put it in place. Now, once I've got it, it lets me try to drop in an extra. I don't want to. I only need one. So, I'm going to place it where I need it to be and just leave it right there in the middle of my screen. Okay? Next, I'm going to place another part. In this case, it's going to be the support. And I'm only going to do one support at a time. I'm just going to drop it off right like that and be done with it. Now, I'm going to rotate my view around so I can see the right side. Well, actually, not the right side, but the right side and the bottom. Here's why. I'm going to do a constraint. In this case, my constraint is going to be a surface constraint, and it's going to be facing surfaces. I want that surface to face that surface right there. And I will apply it. Then, I want to have this surface right here facing, and I'm going to have to zoom in this surface right here. There. Now I'm going to have to just flip my view up a little bit, and I want to have this line, okay, when I use a constraint, apply that one, I'll use a constraint to attach this line right here to this line right here. They share the same space. Apply that. Now, I know it's hard to see in this view, so we're going to tweak our view a little bit and add some edges, shaded with edges. There it is. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my assembly. I'm going to place another part. In this case, it's going to be the support again for the other side. And I'm going to drop it off just in space again. Be done. Now, again, I'm going to a lower view so I can line things up. Constraint. I want this surface to match up with that surface. Apply that. I'm going to flip my view around a little bit. I want this surface here to align with. Again, i got to zoom in that surface right there. Apply that. And then I want to flip up to the top and tell it I want this line and this line to be the same place. Apply that. It's that simple to do these. Now, next I had to place another part. In this case, I want the bushing. Place it. Just drop it off. And I'm only going to do one right now so we don't mess with them. And in this case, I'm going to rotate my view around a little bit so I can see it from this side. And I'm going to go constrain. And I'm going to go with concentric right there. Surfaces. And I want this hole and this hole to share a spot. Apply that. That one is that simple. Now I'm going to flip around to the other side of my view. I'm going to drop in the bushing again. So I go back to my place. I get another bushing and drop it off. Now once I've got that, I need to be done. And then I need to flip this bushing around. There's a couple of different ways to do it. We're going to show you the one that usually goes wrong first off. Um, if we simply take our piece right here and we tell it to rotate. So let's hit the rotate button. And we rotate this bushing around like so. And then we go done. That sometimes causes all kinds of havoc. We'll find out in a second. I'm going to tell it to constrain to this, this ring right here, this piece right there. This time it worked out well for us. Okay, now that's done. Next thing I need to do is drop in another part. I'm going to get my axle open, place it just right there. Be done. I only need one axle. Again, constraint. I'm going to do it concentric from this circle to that circle. And be done with that. And if I did it right, it should be even on both sides, which it is. Next, I have to place the last piece, which is the wheel. Drop him off. He's seen right here. In this case, I'm going to tell it to be constrained. I want to go like this. And we're going to put this right here. I'm going to flip my part around to that part right there. Apply that and we're done. That's all we have to do to build the assembly of this guy.